Finn, come. Come on. Come in the truck. Come on. Come in the truck. Alright, all buckled in. Ready to go. All right, so this vlog, vlog number one, on the big thing that we get asked all the time and that we see quite a bit is like how can we practice fly fishing, especially if we're a, a trout fisherman. Um, look, like fly fishing isn't only trout fishing. Sorry to say it for those people that live out west, but I mean, I grew up bass fishing. Um, grew up going to the coast, grew up uh, pretty much fishing for anything. So today is just going to show, hey, you don't need to be on a trophy trout water to, to fish every day. Um, that and then sometimes we all live busy lives, so I only have 15, 20 minutes to get out and fish. So just make the most of your time. So today I have my, my dog Finn. Um, we're gonna go to this really local bass place that I found a couple months ago. Uh, gonna throw the, the eight weight, it's a little windy today. Um, you don't need the eight weight. If you have a five weight, if you have a three weight or something like that, bass are definitely easily accessible. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just a, an easy way to get out, get some fishing in, get some practicing in, and just enjoy the, the outdoors, so. Hopefully you uh, enjoy the trip. Stay tuned. All right, we're back. Um, like I mentioned, we're gonna be doing some bass fishing. So I have my eight weight, couple flies. That's really all you need. Um, I'm using eight weight because it's windy and in the fall, there's a ton of leaves and stuff. So I'll catch you on the, uh, on the trail. All right, yeah, as I mentioned, um, I'm just gonna be using the eight weight. Sorry, I was trying to do the, the pack up video back there, but Got a little interrupted. Um, it's like super windy and the dog's whining, ready to go. So, yeah, I'm gonna be using the eight weight. Um, it's really windy out here today. So, you can use a five weight. Uh, I mean, the eight, I think, is gonna be a little bit better just because of wind and like there's leaves literally everywhere. So, just to be safer for the bass and stuff like that, get them in quicker, not have to worry about weeds and leaves and branches, all that stuff. Um, yeah, this place here that I'm fishing, I'm in Charlottesville, Virginia today. Um, it's called Boar's Head Resort. If you've ever been to Charlottesville, definitely check it out. It's a good place to stay. You have a nice golf course and all that stuff. Um, but I found this pond just by taking him on a walk and bringing my rod with me. And then end up catching some actually really good fish back there. So that's the thing with bass fishing is if you can find any sort of like golf pond, any old uh, like apartment complex, they typically hold bass. So just check it out. Throw a woolly bugger, throw a small nymph or, or a big uh, small streamer, sorry. And you'll probably catch something. And see some good views. Catch you out on the water here in a bit. Finn, come.
So now you know why I brought the eight weight. It's just a little bit windy coming around that corner. Um, so yeah, so we're bass fishing today. Uh, inside of Boar's Head, there's I think like four or five ponds. The first two when you come in are actually pretty good. Um, I like this back pond, which is all the way back just because people just don't fish that much. So with bass fishing, uh, think about two things, cover and structure. So cover is what's up top, structure is what's underneath. I mean, with, with fly fishing, cover's not the easiest thing to navigate. You can't flip underneath the dock or flip under a tree as easy as you can with like conventional gear, but you could do, you could do it okay. Um, but structure is what's underneath. So you want something that will hold the fish pretty well. So this place back here has a ton of weeds and it's good grass. It's like a, it's also like a hydrilla type thing and there's a shelf. So with bass fishing, you want an ambush point. So if it's a weeds in like two foot of water and then it goes down to six, they're going to sit right on that shelf. Um, same thing with anything like rocks, uh, gravel, old wood piles, anything like that. So yeah, so we'll, I'll may, hopefully the wind will die down a little bit on this back edge and I talk a little bit more, but if you're bass fishing, cover, structure, if you have both of them, it's a money spot. Calling them in, calling them in. All right, let's talk real quick why I'm going to do a, a fly change. So, the fly that I'm using is a second half minnow, a minnow that I tie. Um, it's meant to represent and mimic like larger bait fish, gizzard shad, um, finger mullet, smaller mullet, stuff like that. Now, if we look at this, you can see in there there's these little pockets like a pocket like that what have you so that's how it is over this whole lake and then you'll see some darker areas which are probably like six to eight feet deep there's also not a ton of big bait fish in here so i want to try to imitate a smaller bait fish so i'm going to put on a small clouser or a something else minnow uh, so i want to try to mimic something that stands out something shiny and something small All right, packing it up from this spot, moving it out. Uh, have one pretty good, pretty good strike, but didn't connect on it, unfortunately. Um, I'll fill you in when the wind isn't as bad on this trail. So, see you in a sec. All right, bud, time to go home. Did you hear that failure in my voice right there? <laughs> All right, so we've been out here for, I don't know, probably fishing for 15 minutes. I had the morning pretty free and just wanted to get out for a couple minutes and cast a fly rod, see if I can hook into something. If I do, great, if I don't, that's fine. Um, that's what fly fishing is all about. Like you're just out in the out in the wilderness. In my case, a golf course or an old golf course, and just casting around, trying to see if you can catch something. Um, you don't have to plan one trip per year, and that's the only fly fishing you do per year. I like just get out, get outdoors, 
explore, even if it's 15 minutes like I have today. So, if you like this type of content, let me know. Um, if you want fly tying content, let us know. If you want more like educational, how to tie, I don't know, tire leaders, uh, how to rig gear, just let us know. Uh, this is vlog number one in this whole uh, escapade or series. We just want to try to let you know what we're doing on a daily basis. So Elijah's out. He is uh, guiding today. We do offer a guide service out of Charlotte, North Carolina. We fish all over the western side of the state. Um, we do have a drift boat. So if you want to do that, click the link below to check out our website. Um, love it if you subscribe. If you don't like fishing and you don't like outdoor stuff, like camping, playing around with a dog, stuff like that, this probably isn't the channel for you. Um, but if you do like that type of stuff, just feel free to subscribe. Um, and then we'll try to post some really cool content. Yeah, let us know. Stay smooth. If you have any questions, give us a shout. Bye. Come on, up, up. Yeah!